G'day viewers, how the devil are ya? Well, this has got to be the simplest, most basic, straightforward oil burner you ever came across. As you can see, it's a bit of old steel exhaust pipe with a piece of copper tube stuck in the side. You can see where I've put the oil reservoir up the top to feed the oil in and that old vacuum cleaner was supplying the air through a bit of pool hose. Now all this does is just dribble the oil into that piece of pipe through the small tube. What I did here to get it going was light a wood fire in my pizza oven and initially I was using the air to blow the wood along and you know get the fire hot. This is actually my very first oil burner and the very first time I fired one up. This is, this is the beginning of where all the stupidity started. The bricks in there just basically form uh, a bit of a cage to contain the heat and if you know how a diesel engine works it's basically a giant glow plug. You must have a hot surface for the oil to change from a liquid to a vapour. It won't burn as a liquid, it must get hot enough to vaporise to a gas and then you can ignite it off. What's happening here is I'm using a brick at the back and just basically bouncing the oil fuel mixture off, uh, oil air mixture I should say, off those and allowing it to escape through the holes. The holes in the bricks work like heat exchangers because they will allow the heat to go through and then they will radiate the heat back to any further incoming air and ignite that off. Once again, there is no jets, there is uh, no sort of um, valves or anything else on this. The only thing was the valve on the drum of oil to control the flow. Other than that, the oil trickles in the small line and the air forces it out, blows it out the end there, it hits the bricks, it vaporizes, ignites, and obviously the air supplies the oxygen for combustion. It's that simple. Now, wouldn't be one of my videos without a safety tip to, comp to keep the uh, idiots and morons alive. What the hell they're doing even looking at this and thinking about it, I don't know. But today's safety tip is really straightforward and you've probably heard your mother tell you already. Don't stick your head in the oven, especially if it's an oil-fired oven. Because if you do, I don't even have to explain why, what's going to happen. It'll be game over. You're stuffed. You're out of there. You're in your pine box. End of story. Just don't do it. These things are just so easy. You can put it in something like this as if you were doing a furnace or as you can see in some of my other videos, the next stage I used this thing was just to pack a hole in a metal bucket, shove it in the side and it worked just fine from there. I moved this around here, you can see I'm aiming it at the corner now because I had enough heat in there just to light it off and it, it really did uh, work well no matter what, where I put it. That is a real true indication of how hot it was in there. Those bricks were absolutely glowing red. You can also see the cold center spot where the air is actually cooling that part of the brick. But as it blows off and the oil carries with it, it just lights up and that's it. So that's the shutdown of it. Gives you an idea where you can see the outside and the inside, just how hot those bricks were. That is my wood fire pizza oven and there is over a ton of bricks in there so you've got at least half a ton of brick glowing bright red. That takes quite a bit of energy especially to get it going to that in about half an hour which is all I ran it. So there you go folks, you can make an oil burner as simple as that. You don't need to know dimensions, measurements or anything else. Feed a bit of oil into a tube, aim it at something that will get real hot and you know burn away it's it's that simple so hopefully you found this interesting if you haven't subscribed already please do and don't forget to check out all my other videos on my channel thanks for watching